Hello everybody, and today we are going to try and replicate Can Subaru EyeSight save you from hitting a deer? So I have all of the footage from this video and what we're going to do is try and recreate this footage with my phone. So a lot of people ever since the Note 10 come out, they were like, oh, we could do this, that, or the other, or we can edit from our phone. And for me, I've been doing that for a very long time. All of my videos that I produce on, uh, on my YouTube, majority of them come from my phone. So, as you can see, we have deer. We have a default project. So I'm going to scrolly 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 to teat. And this is all of the footage from that day. And we are going to recreate that video using Power Director for the Android on my Note 10 Plus. So Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I just want to scrub through this and show you what I have so far and how I am matching my video that we made the other day is I'm using YouTube here as a reference. An hour. I can check and see where the cuts were made like, I remember some of them, but not all of them. Like, this one I remember we added... Automatic cruise control augmented. We added that. So... But, I have to say, if you have a note and you do video production, buy the PowerDirector application and use your S Pen. It is so easy. I love it so much. And anyways, I need to go add some videos and continue because we're not even to the very first test yet. So I've still got a long way to go. So I hate to have a vertical section in the video, but it is necessary because this app does not work and uh, yeah. So anyways, I need to convert some of the videos that was in that video, uh, these three in particular, because they are MOV and they do not work with uh, PowerDirector. But I use Video Converter and, and it works wonderfully. Let's go ahead and dig down into the folder here. And we need these three files. So file number one, we'll convert it to H264. And we will do MP4. Some best quality, uh, yep. As you can see, it does encode faster than real time, which is really nice and I'm going to go ahead and get these converted, and we will be back. Okay, so all of the videos are now uh, transcoded. So we need to jump back into PowerDirector and overcome one of its limitations. Okay, so one limitation that PowerDirector has is it cannot do picture-in-picture when you have a 4K source. So Ultra HD clip on the master, you cannot insert this. So even though that one is a 1080p, you can't insert it. So what you have to do for me to recreate this picture in picture moment is I have to create a separate video, uh, import all of the elements and make it a picture in picture then render that uh, video 
out as a 4K sequence and then import that video into the current current working project. So that is now done. So we can jump back to Deer. And then and there it is. So we'll go ahead and add it. Use original. And this is And that's the result. So even though this has been rendered once, um, the video quality should not degrade any when I render it out again in this video. Anyways, that is the one limitation to PowerDirector on your Android device is you cannot picture in picture with ultra HD content in the master timeline. I wish they would fix this because cell phones can handle that now. They have been able to for a little while and I would honestly deal with the uh, lag and stuff if it caused it. Anyways, back to editing. And there we go. We have a fully edited YouTube video that I copied from when we originally edited this video on Brucey's computer. So, links in the description below. So, if you want to see how I did, go down there. Thanks for watching. This has been editing using CyberLink. Cyber Power Director. There we go. Using Power Director on an Android on a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I almost forgot. Hit that like button because Veritasium says it does something. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Bye.